Okay, I've got my site now, and the next thing I want to do is add a cool special effect that will really enhance the wow factor of my site. And one of the things that I've wanted to do for a long time is figure out how to have the person walk out onto the website and do an introduction, much like what Rovion does. Let me refresh my screen, and here's an example. Welcome to Rovion. Using our in-person technology, we drive traffic to your site and get visitors to take action on your pages. Now, I know you've seen this kind of thing before, and I think that it's really slick, and it really adds a lot to the website, and uh, so I wanted to try to figure out how to do that. So, on our site, we've uh, shot some video of our spokesperson at this particular office, Jay, and you'll see here I've just... Uh, shot some video and imported it into uh, into uh, my video editing software and you'll see here at the beginning we've got him walk out and uh, introduce himself and just give a short let's see about 36 second uh, intro and we'll probably cut that down a little bit now what we have to do basically is export this video into a flash format because what you saw on the Rovion website is basically flash video and it's laid over the website to give the effect that the spokesperson is walking on top of the site and in order to do that we have to take this video and do some work to it and export that into flash and then get rid of the background which that's the real trick now in my software here I've got a lot of export options but one thing that I don't have is a way to get this video into a uh, format that uh, I can use and also uh, create what's called an alpha channel so that I can make the background transparent so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, pull this same video clip up in motion and Motion is a part of uh, Apple's Final Cut uh, Studio and now that I have the uh, video clip up in Motion I can just scroll through and I can see we can see our spokesperson Jay uh, walk on set and I'm just gonna do a couple of basic things first I'm gonna crop this video down and I've already measured it out so I know exactly what I want to do and we'll see Jay uh, walking on to the screen and giving his introduction here so I'm also next going to apply a uh, key filter now motion has some key filters built in and most other video editing software is gonna have this um, I happen to like this product PHYX keyer which is a plug-in for motion and for Final Cut and uh, I'm gonna choose the PHYX keyer okay it's gonna go ahead and place a default green value in here and it's got most of the green screen keyed out but not uh, as much as I need so I'm just gonna play with this for a minute and see see if I can uh, improve the uh, key just a little bit now my lighting on this particular video wasn't all that great and uh, so I'm gonna have a little bit of shadowing there but uh, for the purposes of just showing you how this is done that's okay so we'll apply that filter and then I'm going to add another filter from this PX, PHYX uh, suite called D-Spill which is just going to help get rid of that green halo effect and uh, I really like PHYX keyer I use it in conjunction with the existing filters in both Final Cut and Motion and I found it very helpful you can see I've still got some uh, white uh, halo ghost effect around his feet but again not a big deal for these purposes okay now I've applied the uh, key filtering and I've isolated J the next thing I need to do is export this clip into a format that is going to add an alpha channel now we'll look down here at my different options and I've already got it set to uh, lossless plus alpha movie um, I can look down here and uh, pick that. I can also look up here at my uh, my options and um, take a look at my out output and see that I am outputting color plus alpha channel right here and this alpha channel is what really makes all the difference. I'm going to hit that and 
do, I'm going to export both my video and audio, and afterwards I'm going to do nothing. So I'll hit export, and we'll go ahead and go. Once we have that video ex clip exported, I'm just going to go into my finder and pull that up. And we've saved it out here in projects. And here we have our intro movie. Get that down to a manageable view. And here we go. Hi, I'm Jay Stubbs, and I serve as the sales director along the Gulf Coast for First Protected. Great. So now I've got my file exported. And the next thing I'm going to need to do, since I couldn't convert it into a flash format from motion is I'm going to open up my Adobe Media Encoder and uh, I really like this media encoder there's a uh, uh, Apple version called compressor that comes with your Final Cut uh, suite um, I I don't know why but I just happen to like this um, Adobe Media Encoder a little bit better and I'm gonna go out and get my uh, get my video if I can find it. Open that up and I'm going to convert that into a FLV format. Okay, so I'm going to change my preset to, in this particular case, I want a medium size web video. I want it in FLV format and uh, I'm using HD footage so it's widescreen. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to find my FLV web medium widescreen source. Next I'm going to go jump into my settings and here's where an important um, component is. I have my format going to flash video. My preset is my um, web medium widescreen source and I'm going to come down here and click my video tab and I want to make sure that I have encode alpha channel checked. And again Encoding the alpha channel is what's going to allow us to eliminate the, the background uh, behind my subject. So I'm going to hit OK, add that to my queue, and I'm going to start my queue up. Once that's done, I've gotten a uh, new file called uh, jintro.flv. Now um, we're just about ready to go. So I'm going to jump over here into Flash Catalyst where I have built my website and uh, I'm going to just simply import my video file and I just have to go hunt and find it. And here it is, the J intro. And here you can see my wireframe. Let me shrink that up just a little bit. So here you can see my wireframe where that video has been imported. And uh, if I select uh, wireframe video controls, then all of a sudden you can see uh, my box where it's supposed to be. I have it layered um, underneath this button right here. If I moved it up, of course it would cover that up. So uh, I'll take my J intro and I will say none on the video controls. We'll set it to autoplay and the other thing I could do is create a little button and put it down here to fade in and click to stop if I want to stop that video halfway through like I stopped the original one on the Rovion website that I showed you but I'm not going to do that right now. I just want to show you how this looks. Okay so I'm gonna export this over to uh, a web format and I'll just come over here to my browser pull up the site and refresh and here's where you get the effect. Hi, I'm Jay Stubbs and I serve as the sales director along the Gulf Coast for First Protected. And there you have it, the effect that I was going for.